Right, I know I'm repeating myself here, but this will be part of the TV licensing series. I just finished the video off. Um, at the end of the credits of one of the videos of one of these stupid letters. And uh, maybe this won't be clear at the end, but I might as well repeat myself. Um, okay, you got one of these letters through the post, and um, you're wondering is it a good idea to give them a call? Absolutely not. Do not call these pricks. And I'll tell you for why. If you call these pricks, not just it'll give them a hint that there's someone at the address, but it also gives them an idea of how to intimidate you on the phone. Which is why I never called them. When I got here, I never called them. I never did anything, I just put them into the cupboard and that was the end of it. I even burnt one of them because I was sick of looking at them. They're in the way most of the time, so you've got to burn at least one or two and again to fit more in the cupboard. But some people have called them and uh, said, I restrict all access or something bollocksy like that. The only problem with that is, one, they won't listen and they will continue doing it either way. And two, you're giving them a hint at the public address that you give them that that they, you know, have been restricted at, so they know who to bug the most, maybe. It's like when you do a noise complaint. Who gets the actual backlash? The person that actually reported the noise complaint. That's what mostly happens. It happens in most industries. So, this is what I have to say. Don't call them. It's pointless. Don't call them. If you think you've got a reason with a TV licensing woman on the phone, you Got to be fucking kidding me. You can't restrict access. You know, they don't do such thing as that. They don't listen to the law. So how are they going to... Look, if, if this is... If they get away with pedo allegations, then they can get away with restrict access and fuck around with you. So don't ring them. Ringing them is the worst thing you can do. Because A, they've got your number. B, they got the address that they wish to track it. And three, it's really pointless, you know? And restricting access is pointless. Even, you know, stopping them from uh, coming to your door, like for example, you want to give them, you know, two years notice that you haven't got a TV and all that sort of stuff and you don't wish to get a license and then you get that, that lovely tick again on the letter. Well fucking done. Now you've rung them up and told them that they've got your address which they did anyway, but they didn't know who it was to. And they've also got your name. So they've got other ways to intimidate you after two years to get a license. Even though the fact, the idea of it was to eliminate this bullshit. After two years, this will come back again. You have to ring them up again. So don't ring them up. It's absolute pointless. Just, you know, burn them, destroy them, fucking throw them away. You know, don't even look at them, just, when you see legal occupier or TV licensing on the back, just throw them a fucking way. There's no need to keep them. It's pointless keeping them. So, well, <laughs> except for me, I keep them. I keep them for a good reason for you guys and for myself mostly, because I like to keep bullshit letters like that. Yeah, don't contact them, it's pointless. If you contact them, they technically win. Let's put it that way. That's why you'll be in trouble. Now then, don't get me wrong, I don't mind people that call TV licensing to waste their time and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's part of your routine, that's how you do your YouTube and all that. I'm just speaking here under this perspective of people that are vulnerable. So basically if you're a YouTuber that actually does call them and I think I'm having a go at you, I am not. I'm only having to go at the people that are trying to ring them to give them restrict access that don't know what they're doing. Now don't get me wrong, there is some YouTubers on the internet that don't know what they're doing most of the time and that's when I have to say don't call them uh, to restrict access because some of them do that. So that's what I'm trying to refresh to. Anyway, back to the video. Because if you call them up, they have a hint at the address and the property and all that other shite. So that is why you don't contact them because if you contact them guaranteed you're going to be pestered in the fucking future to get a license still and you think that that's you know it's all gone now now you've got that lovely tick and all that and your name's on it and everything and everything's settled with them bullshit 
after about two years or maybe less, this will come back. You have to keep calling them every two years. And this is another problem, your phone bill. If you get free calls, fair enough. But if you don't, you're paying through the net for these fuckers. Just to say you don't have a TV license. You don't wish to have one. You don't want one because you keep bugging me about this bullshit, you know? So the best thing is, do not fucking bother, okay? Don't bother. Worst thing is, is contacting them. If you contact them, you probably will lose your bottle, you probably give out your name, your address, you know, that's when you're in trouble. Because that means they've got your word of mouth to search warrant your bullshit ass. And it's true. So don't contact them. If you contact them, it invites more paedophiles to your door. It invites more problems. Let me just tell you something else as well. This is my intercom here. here. That is disconnected. And that guarantees me a nice future of not having these fuckers at my door. So if you're worried about this thing going every so often, there's a simple video right fucking here and it will explain how to disconnect one of these things. There's no need to ring them. If you don't want them at your door, it's simple as don't answer the door, don't ring them up, just leave it as the illegal occupier because they're never gonna figure this out unless they really do their research, they're never gonna do it. So, I am not fucking ringing them ever. And I suggest you all to do the same. If you ring them, you could be in trouble. That's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching. Now I've got that off my chest, I can now rest easy that I am keeping you guys safe. Um, don't let them in. Don't give them a call. Giving them a call is easy access for them. It's not Destroying access is easy access. And uh, on like Facebook and that, there was someone saying that you can restrict all access. But if you do that, technically you're giving them what they want. And that is your word on the phone. They want you to scream down the phone. They want you to fucking, to, to call up the TV licensing, you know? That's what they want. They want you guys to scream and be saying, I've had enough of this shit. The best thing is to relax, not ring them, don't answer them, end of story. That is it. Bye bye. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him rule. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing And heaven and heaven and nature sing Joy to the world, the Saviour reigns Let men their songs employ While fields and floods rot Repeat the sounding 